Reality Rappers, we are back and we have some updates. There's lots of housewives going on at the moment. We have The Bachelorette. It's a successful journey for me. And we finally, after decades of waiting, have some married first set news. Their dreams are finally coming true. I'm beyond excited. Like, I'm so excited about married at first sight. Ah. Let's do it. All right, but first, Shawnee, we are gonna start with the Reality Star of the Year Award. Did you see the Reality Star of the Year Award? Yeah, well, yeah, you sent it to me. Right. <laughs> the I list did. of reality stars and I this didn't recognize half of them. So. This is the strangest list I've ever seen in my yeah. entire I've never seen a reality TV list like this before it's so odd so i saw kyle got i guess kyle is, was named the reality star of the Absolute. year this is us right. weekly's list right, right? right and people were saying how huh, wait what Ky i get that kyle belongs on the list right i don't know i don't think so i disagree because she sean kyle is one of the few ogs that are still on her series don't care <laughs> What if they're going to give it to Kyle, they might as well give it to Teresa because she's still on hers too. And they had better ratings. But also, Kyle never left. She's just been there since the beginning of time and never and left. With Teresa, she left to go to prison. They stopped the show for her. Listen. <laughs> Teresa is not <laughs> even on the list. Fan. I'm no, just saying. No, I expected her to be on the list. It was strange to me too because here are the people on the list. Half of them you probably do not know because... It is so strange. I so this is us weekly's list. Like right, right. so this is who they be. So there is um Chelsea Lasgani from um so, Selling Sunset. No, I, if, okay, but Shawnee, um, if we're gonna pick one person from Selling Sunset, it's Chriselle. Chriselle is the most known the lead. Chrishell is the lead. There is no selling sunset without Chris. I've never seen Chelsea on a list, a reality TV list ever. Like I've never seen her on a list. Then we have Lindsay Hubbard from Summer House. Right. Is Lindsay also, good? Great, but like her I guess show. Chelsea and Lindsay, both of them, I feel like most reality TV fans don't care, don't even know who they are. So don't why know are they a top reality star list. That's what I'm saying. Bravo TV people knows I'm Lindsay and Netflix people know Chelsea. But outside of that world, nobody knows. But okay. Then there is Monica Garcia from her one season of Salt Lake City. She's Which not was crazy. last year. So why is she making a list this year? Johnny, it makes no when I tell and by the way, Monica, Monica is not on the show this season. And people are like, oh my God, how are we gonna go on without her? Uh, Monica has turned into exactly who I knew she was gonna turn into. Monica's entire personality is about her one season on Salt Lake City. Every right. time they do an interview, she pops up in a live video to respond. Every time the episode airs, she pops up to respond. Move on, please. Move on. If we're gonna have her move on we need a lot of other washed up reality real housewives stars to also move on because they all do that they, they leave all the show and then they make a podcast to talk about the show but here's the difference to me shawnee stop showing this finger here's the difference to me shawnee the others at least had more than one season okay they at least we know them they had at least what how many seasons did teddy have two <laughs> three Two, she came back. We know that Shawnee, this woman had one and one I season. Know, and she wasn't even on one of those big franchises like Beverly Hills, New York. It's mm -hmm. Salt Lake City. Chill. Right, man. right. It would Just, be like if Noella was doing it. Like if they put right. Noella on that list. Like no. Monica Garcia is like right. Noella. I love my Noella. By the way, I love I want to know who made this list and if this is just their friends. Is this is this I, your I, meeting? Was like, what's up? I mean, I'm, I'm on the list. <laughs> At this point, let me see if I see my name. No, hey, I don't want Us Weekly coming for us. No. We're just talking oh. about the list. Don't be mad. The but list, like, who are these people? The list has us talking Us Weekly. All right. So you did something. All right. right. Then there is 
um, what's her name? Taylor Frankie Paul from Secret Life of I'm Mormon. Cool with that. I'm we cool with that. Her. She I... is a breakout star, and she was the star Agreed. of Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. I get Agreed. that. She's not. It, I would be mad if they picked one of the other girls, like yeah. maybe the ones that didn't get airtime. But at least they got the star this time. And cool. Shawnee, can I tell you when I saw the picture, I had absolutely no idea who it was until I was like. Oh, that was like the only one I knew. No, because they all look alike. So I didn't know which of the cast member it was. I swear to you, I was like, why would they give it to her? And I'm like, oh, it's Taylor. Okay. Right, right. Now I follow her now. So Taylor is a newcomer and she's, I get it. I get it. And also they, each of them have like titles if on the list. So she's probably like best newcomer. I didn't memorize it, but like, yeah. So she probably got that list. Shawnee. Kristen Doughty from Vanderpump Rules is on no. the list. Why? Or I should say The Valley because she's on The Valley now. Explain to me when you've ever seen Kristen on any list ever in life. This <laughs> one. <I> guess. <laughs> We've never seen it. Shani, isn't that the wildest thing ever? I mean, we I mean, love Kristen. Congrats, Kristen, because you made a list. I guess maybe because she just got engaged. This is her engagement gift? I don't know, but... Like I said, I'm less than impressed. I Johnny, they my list very, would be very different. So everybody's list would be very different. None of these people would be. Jane Tran is on the list. Your girl, the Bachelorette. Oh yeah, she did. Yeah. I mean, the Bachelorette. Every year you have like a top reality TV, and, and this is clearly reality TV women, right? Because yeah. there are it's no the men on the list. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Bachelorette has to be on it every year. Period. Mm -hmm. she's about, yeah, so I agree. And she was Karen. She was there. So uh, that. I mean, honestly, I still love Jen, and I feel like now that she's on Dancing with the Stars, she's allowed to like show more of her personality. personality and yeah. And I love it. She's so sweet and so fun. And she's quirky and funny I and has a sense of humor. Right. We didn't see that on the show. I'm yeah. glad that we're seeing it now, though. I love so. it. Yeah, I love that. I was like, look at little cutie pie. She does the little TikTok videos. I'm like, okay, Jed, now we right. get but Now she's, we're seeing personality we never saw before. So Never, ne never. But yeah, I'm loving it. So Jen is on. There's Leah Kateb from, um, is it Love Island? Yes. Yeah. But Leah wasn't even the winner. <laughs> I um, can't even name anybody from the last season of Love Island. I know one of them recently got Serena. Arrested. I know Serena, the winner. Um, but that show, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Love Island USA didn't last much longer because oh. seems the UK ones do better, way better. Okay, the list is not done. Julie, Julie from Big Brother host, yeah. she's on the list. Well, that might be like the OG award. <laughs> oh yeah, never seen her on a list in my entire life. But she's a great. What host. Is she she walks out, she says what she has to say, and that's the end of it. Like, and she I don't know. Said, I've never been like a crazy about a host type of person because, yeah, she, but longevity, she's been there since right, the she's been there for like ever. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they love their Julie. And then there is this lady who I've never seen before in my entire life, cannot tell you her name or who she is. And then there's a couple that I actually yeah, want. tell me her name. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't tell you her name. Couldn't pick her out of a lineup. Never seen her before in my entire life. All right, that's she, that's how I felt looking at this list. Like, who are these people? I do, I really don't know her name, and I'm not gonna look it up. Honestly, she might be from dancing. Shawnee, she might be from Dancing with the Stars, based on the hashtag. Based on um, the hashtag. Yeah, <laughs> based on the hashtag, she's from Dancing. But you know who I loved on this list that you don't know, but. The couple from Love on the Spectrum on Netflix. You know what? Oh, I saw that and I was like, you know what? That's a show I really need to watch. Shawnee, it is like so show. good. It is uh, so heartwarming. Just, oh. The thing it, is, is I'm so, cool. I'm having such a hard time keeping up with the stuff that's just on network TV right now. Yeah. It's true. Like, anything else is like... Oh, set up what we have to be honest, more. Like, like yeah. there's so much on right now between the Golden Bachelorette, The Voice, all the Housewives shows that are going right now, Salt Lake, Potomac. So um, much. It's just like New York is on. It's yeah, a New lot. York is on, which I caught and I really, really enjoyed. And I've never enjoyed New I York. I love the new been, new I, I love the new Rony. I love top. them. 
Shawnee, the, the problem why people don't like the new Roni is because they're stubborn and they refuse to let go of the old Roni. But and they're not giving them a chance. I feel like the target audience has changed. It's too younger. Low. Yeah, it's younger, younger, hipper, and a little bit more liberal, might I say? Yeah. you know, a little more open-minded. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think that old Roni fans would be a fan of these women. No. But I, Love them. Love like, them. It's I'm like the biggest Jenna stan in the world. <laughs> I love her. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, no, the cast is so good. And they added two new cast members this season. And it's a good, solid love. Mm-hmm. Love, love it. Only. Potomac is back. And when I went online, everybody was, you know. I watched it. it I don't, Shawnee, tell me I what you thought of the premiere. I think, first of all, I think that they're going too easy on Karen because yes. she's the matriarch or whatever. Girl, you got a DUI. The grand, the, dame, DUI. Girl. the grand dame is about to be the grand dame behind bars if she does not stop. The Uber gift card was freaking hilarious. <laughs> yes, Ashley's going to be Ashley. That was the shadiest. Ashley is always doing present present I've Ashley. ever seen. I Honestly, I love Ashley. I think she's coming into her, her own. I'm very tired of hearing about her divorce. Oh, my God. Just do it already. But Shawnee. Uh, I think it's going to be a great season, though. I think there's I a think lot. I think it's going to be a great time. season. I was mm-hmm. not impressed by the premiere. It's I loved it. When I, person, that's what most people were saying. Wow, they're back. And I'm like, let me watch it. I, I became you. I'm like, let me watch this a second time. And I watched it a second time and I was like, but for me, um, Potomac is always a slow burn. Like they always start off kind of slow and ease into things on like Salt Lake City, where it's just, it starts with a bang. And I think that's why I just watched Salt Lake City premiere and I was like, and then I watched Potomac and I was like, eh, but they never disappoint. I, enjoyed it. I like it, the dynamic yeah. between the women and the thing about Potomac that I love is that they are so shady mm-hmm. but like yeah. in the most yes. subtle it's subtle but it's like i don't even know how it's to like explain. i feel like they're very southern girl shade sort of vibe kind right of like, but it's mean it's no, like it is. it is it's brutal but they can take it right it's, they don't even get crazy when no they get the but like the things that they say to each other it's, it's like true. Giselle and Ka- and Kern are. By the way, don't you love the show without Robin? Like nobody misses. I Robin. do. I actually really enjoy Giselle without Robin. Robin, that's okay. what we had to break up that little duo because mm-hmm. Giselle was becoming this person who didn't care to resolve anything because she had Robin, who right. was contributing much. And no, G- suddenly Giselle wants to make up with Kern. She wants to make up with Wendy. She's no working for her paycheck right. okay right. i will say though i did miss my candy as you know i love my candy i know you do but i think that i don't need her i, I so they say they don't but need her. you're gonna you're gonna regret those words in episode three or four shawnee <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> because ashley's on fire this season I don't like shawnee ashley's my least favorite cast member by the way ashley gives me nothing ashley to me, is one of those persons. She reminds me of Whitney on Salt Lake City. Ashley just throws out something about another cast member and goes, and then she goes sit down. And then, we're, and she gives us nothing. Ashley has been talking about this divorce for three seasons now. I know. That's all, it's, that's her storyline. Anything and but that. What anything. else is happening in Ashley's life, Shawty? Nothing. nothing. But she's Except in the middle of her. everything. She's just- Right, she's in everybody else's mess. Ashley's but gonna have. If you don't have someone in everybody else's mess, then there's no mess. I agree, but I need. To... She's the Tamara Judge of real. No, 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 no! How dare you? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, no! Do not say those words. Touch. No, no, no! She, Ashley could never be Tamara Judge. Tamara Junior. She's trying. She's trying. She is trying. But absolutely not, madame. But I feel like Ashley, though, 
and she's cute and quirky but i just feel like i'm gonna need her to start giving me more and not give me more of other people's drama but let me hear what's going on with you and nothing is going on except this divorce. Yeah, tell us about all these guys you're dating ashley we know you got a social life exactly let's, let's see it I'm going to need more Let's do some crossovers because we know they're Bravo men. <laughs> and I don't want her to date any Bravo men. I don't want to see them because I feel I like they're not genuine and they just want to be. Here, bring me the mess. They want more camera time. Bring me the mess. By the way, Real Housewives of Orange County reunion um, filmed on Sunday. And we haven't heard much about it, but people were losing their minds that Alexis was at the reunion. Why would Alexis not be at the reunion, guys? Alexis may have only been a friend of this season, but the entire season was about her. She made it about her. Alexis made sure she got into every, every. episode. Alexis every. was in every... Alexis time... Might as well just give her an orange, like... And she was at the end of the coach at presses. We're like, I hope she's not there the whole time. Alexis is going to be there the whole time. She has so much to answer for. What um, else would they talk about if not but, Alexis? There's Shannon and everything to do with Shannon this season has to do with Alexis and John. And since Alexis is John's spokesperson, then there's, they ha like, there is nothing, like, here's the problem I'm having with OC fans and I'm going to need all of you to gather around. And let me say this one time. You're going to have to emotionally remove yourself from this show and just be smart. We do not need Alexis to be fired. That makes no sense. We do not need Tamara to be fired. That makes no sense. Okay? They are entertaining us. We love to hate them. Get a grip with the firing. Get a grip. Because when we well, fired everyone that we hated, there'd be no show. And then we'd all complain that it was boring and then it would get a full reboot. So Also... We've tried this with Orange County and beg for Tamara's firing. And she was. And we almost died those two seasons without her. Without mm -hmm. Mrs. Tamara Judge. Thank you very much. Right, right. Going through that again, Shawnee. Go through that again. I don't even want to think about those seasons. Right. So listen up, guys. Get it together. Enough. We not Nobody's getting fired. This is a perfect cast. They need to keep everybody and do it again. And also, Alexis, we need to, we need to, there's going to be a wedding. She's going to show off. I hope not. You know what I want to see is a breakup. And then I want her to apologize to Shannon. <laughs> I know. I'm asking for a lot. Shani, but... Let me tell you something. Alexis is going to walk down that aisle, whether you like it or not. Alexis whether, and John. Whether John deserves it or not. <laughs> No, because you know what? There's too many people betting against them for them to turn back. No, it's it's too right. far gone. No, well, they've got to show us. They're they they're gonna get us wrong. Also, I know. You know, I will say I don't. I think these people actually are in love and whatever. And I don't think that they're. Maybe. I like when I see them on social media. I really do think they're in love and. Or they're excellent actors. We just hate them because of how they're behaving to Shannon and in general. I mean, I fully think that if they're so in love, the last thing that they should have done is brought it on the show and shoved it in her face. Yeah. After all that she's been through, yeah. the last thing that Shannon needed was an entire season of all of this shoved in her face. Now, that said, I think that because it's all been done this way and she's been done so dirty, and it's dirty. It is. It saved is her horrific. spot on the show because if not... We would have spent the whole season talking about Shannon and her DUI, and that would have been it, and she would have been gone. Yeah. I will tell you, Shannon, Alexis saved Shannon. I really do think yeah. she saved her this season. Number one, yeah. if we if if Alexis was not on the show this season, the mm -hmm. way Tamara is going at Shannon is the way we would have been going at Shannon for this DUI right. thing. Which and the way awesome. people should be going for Karen for the same thing. Right, right. No, yeah, no one, is, yeah, they did a little bit before, like when a clip came out, but I was like, maybe we're going to see more. <laughs> Look here, the grand said, listen, go read the papers. It's an ongoing, I can't talk about, I'm like, Kern, what, what do you mean? Kern, you're going to have to, we know you're the grand dame. But I'm gonna need you to take I loved some it though. If you wanna know what's going on? Go read the paper. It's all in there. Go read it. it's on the news. I died. 
<laughs> Go read the paper, peasant. Do not ask me anything. That's exactly the attitude she had, too. And I'm just like, this woman has so much nerve. And I know who and Giselle responded because Giselle was right? like, all right. What do you right? And the girls are like, they're all going... Well, we were hoping that, you know, our friend would tell us what happened. No, you go read it like everybody else. <laughs> Like, who do you think? You're going to read it like the other peasants. Okay? <laughs> go pick up a newspaper. I died. I love my potato. Karen should have been on that us list. I'm just saying. Hmm? I'm saying Karen should have been on that list. Maybe they made it too long ago. Right? Honey, this list. That was boss moves. Oh, we're going to ignore this list. Yeah, Karen is just like, I'm not going to tell you nothing. Um, and that's that. And what you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Talk about her behind her back. <laughs> what would I do without housewives? Right? Like, what would I do without my housewives that I love so much? Speaking of housewives, no, 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 we're moving on. The Bachelorette is dwindling. The golden down. Bachelorette. The gold. The golden Bachelorette. And I have something to say about it because Joan messed up. Last night, uh-huh. Joan sent home Charles Ling, and I'm so mad. Oh no! I loved him. Charles. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, Joan. Okay, good luck. Thank you, Annie. Okay, you've changed my life. But why did she send him home? No connection. What? I mean, I think that at this point she was down to eleven people, and she sent four home. Ooh, so wow. now she has seven. I mean, they're cutting. This is a short season. It's mm-hmm. people are getting chopped. And I, right. I think we're just at the point where even though she has a connection with some of these people and even though they're getting along and you know they'll probably be friends forever. Yeah. I think it's become come to the point where she has to really think about who do I see myself with. Okay. And I just I don't I don't think that Joan and Charles were a good fit. Mm-hmm. I just wonder how we're going to be entertained now because <laughs> like he was the entertainment. Him and Gary, and they both went home last night. And I'm just, oh. they were both so good and so good for TV and just so easy to love. And neither of them were a good fit for Joan. And I get that, but. Shawnee, do you think she's going to marry somebody at the end of no. this? No. She has already come out and said that for her, her goal is to find the person that she can like settle down and have a relationship with. She does not care if she gets engaged or not. Oh, but, but do I don't you think, think she's going to rush gonna... into anything. I think she will get engaged. I do. Okay. Gotcha. I don't think she's going to rush into a marriage because look what happened on the Golden Bachelor. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, oh my gosh. Getting was... a wedding special. It's not going to be a rush to the altar because they only yeah. have so many years left or what? No. Yeah. We're gonna die next year. Let's get married today. Cause right. the Gary thing and Teresa thing, it still annoys me to this day. It annoys me even more that they had him on the show giving giving Joan advice last get week. Get away from me with this, Apollo. And then, oh man, I'm still mad about it. And then had the nerve to ask Joan what she would do. Like have, he's, he actually said, have you ever considered that your person is not here? Huh? Why, why right. did he say that? Because he wants her. He Whoa. wants her to be single. To- Look here. We're going to. That's All what right. everybody thought because Jer- because Gary showed up. Yeah. There was half the ring to make her doubt the men that are there. Huh. She actually responded back and said, you know, if you'd asked me that before the show started, I would have maybe said, like, I don't know. Yeah. But after having time with these men, like, yeah, probably, mm-hmm. you know, so. She should have said they're all better picks than you and you right <laughs> bye bye so i just thought about? it was in bad taste to even yeah. have him on the show giving her um advice yeah. trying to doubt at her about these men like go away gary we're done bye. get away from me with this apollo when the words showed us that you are not a good picker yeah like why are you talking to me about this what do you know you weirdo right. bye right <laughs> So, you know, that annoyed me, but I, I'm sad that Charles is gone and I'm sad that Gary's gone too, honestly. There was a couple other guys that left um Guy, the one that, that had the the um restraining order or whatever. Mm-hmm. He had all that ruckus and they talked about they were yeah. gonna pull back his screen time and all of that. He's gone now. So I mean they did that all very quietly. Like he just got he just of- so uh, was he gone, like she sent him home or he just yeah, she just- sent him home. He didn't get a rose. Okay. So um okay. they actually had chalk had to go 
take care of his his mom died and he had to go deal with that he came back for her mm-hmm. he is a, he is definitely a fan favorite i think he's a joan favorite oh, okay she seems really really fond of chalk and whose name i can't get past like i don't chalk the name chalk chalk with an o his name is chalk chalk yeah chalk. and um and pascal who oh, honestly pascal. i really really liked until he started talking about how finicky is like he doesn't cook he doesn't clean he doesn't do his own laundry so who I'm does just... them for him no, joe? joe yeah he was paying you... men in the house to do his laundry for him like <laughs> what like he lost me there like you can have all the french accent you want but i'm not gonna be mm, no. anyway so he just wants a housekeeper in joe <laughs> That was the impression I got, yeah. Or, sir, if you're rich enough to hire help, sure. But don't be telling me you don't cook and clean. Yes. So there's that. And then she's good. Right, right. Don't cook and clean then, sir. A couple of these guys I've seen net worths on and I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be a okay. <laughs> right, she'll be fine. I mean, I don't think that she's hurting either, so. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I, I I really hope she finds a really solid relationship after this. Because she do doesn't too. seem like she's in it for fame or for TV time. She seems no. genuine and I love her backstory. Yes. Sad. I also think that the future of these shows depends on it. If they yeah. have another golden flop, okay, uh, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, so she needs to. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on Joan to make this work because it's going to be a problem. Gary messed it up, and now here we are. Well, look at how much hope he gave everybody and then immediately proved that Gary ain't all that. No, we know. thought he was all that. He's not all that. You are not all that, Gary, okay? You are not no. all that. Nobody is, really. All right, before we go, we have to talk about Married at First Sight because it's been gone for 10 decades, and I've been dying inside. Right? It's been, like, what, six months for real? Six months, it's 10 years. Right. Before I feel like an eternity, it's been a lifetime. Where have you been? Right. <laughs> Listen, I understand why the show was on pause. Because after Denver, we were just like, we are done with Married at First Sight. This is horrendous. Get away from me with this. Apartment. I've been exhausted with that show since it, it was. Denver was Denver. by far the worst. It never got better. Denver Johnny. was worse than Atlanta. I don't know, man. I still have PTSD from that. <laughs> Denver, Shawnee was, and they were so bad. The problem with Denver, apart from them not being there for, is that they plotted out this whole thing and were horrible at it. I mean, if it was at the end, we were like, ooh, wow, got us. But they were so, I don't want, I don't want to. Like, what are these people doing? Right, we saw it. Anyway, we've, the memory has faded somewhat. And now we are finally getting the new season when I tell you I watched the matchmaking special on Tuesday night and Shawnee maybe I am naive call me naive but I love the women the women I was and and also I love that they showed us how the experts chose them because they showed us some of the persons who didn't make it on actually so they gave us some of the other options and then it narrowed it down to the five women and the five men but the women are so intelligent and the age they're smart they're successful and also i'm glad that they changed the age now to older women because yeah. normally it's a bunch of 20 something year olds the youngest okay. is 29 and the oldest man is 42 so there's okay. a lot of persons 35 38 36 and i'm so like actual marrying age which actually is actually want to get why is a 23 year old signing up for a reality show you're 23. Not to get married. They're doing it for You fame. haven't tried long enough to find your person. You come on the show when you've tried everything. And you're like, all right, I'm going to give this a try. You're right. to go away from me, 23-year-olds. Get away. Go away. Shoo. You want to be on TV. So right. I feel like the experts have heard our cries. And they've heard the bashing. And they've said, you know what, guys? We're going to be for real, for real. This is. So do you th- how many couples do you think are actually going to stay married this time? One. One? You think yeah. they'll even get one? Yeah. We must, they have to. Listen, if they have to pay these people to stay together, I don't need to know. I don't care. But we right. need at least one successful marriage, Shawnee. I don't care how you get these people to stay together. Fingers crossed, right? 
We can't, so we cannot have another season. People are already saying they're going to boycott this. We I think that they don't really care, though, because the way that I see it, the recent episode or the recent seasons of Married at First Sight US mm -hmm. are starting to become more and more like Married at First Sight Australia, which has always been over the top, couple swapping, cheating, lying, craziness. And everybody says, watch Married at First Australia, you know, Married at First Sight Australia, you'll love it, you'll love it. But, and so I think that's what they're trying to bring us. And we're over here like, I don't love this. But the thing is, Shawnee, if they're trying to bring us that, then bring us that. But they're giving us nothing. They're not right. giving us love. They're not giving right. us real drama. We just are right. No, we have fake drama. We have but nothing. Said, I think that's what they were trying to do. do and it didn't work. Well, there is a couple swap this season. There is a cheating scandal that apparently turned into a couple swap, which is weird because I'm looking at the five couples and I cannot imagine which two couples. Like I'm looking, especially because I love the women and I cannot imagine which of the women would do that. So now I'm like, could it be her? Not this sweet girl. So now I'm like, huh? But... It's, and it's another first. Like last season was the first Runaway Bride. And this season is going to be the first couple swap. There's always a first unprecedented. It's, never uh, seen before on that show. Bachelor. They always are doing. Just give us be, what we want. We want love. How about the first time we actually had some love? Where's <laughs> the Woody and the Amanis? Right. We're, like, I think, we're, Shawnee, I think a lot of us that are hanging on and keep going back for more of this torture is we're hoping for another Woody and Amani. We're just hoping. Right. And even Woody and Amani season, even the couples that didn't make it, they were still some solid couples. It's just marriage is hard. You understand? Right. But they were still good because Miles and Karen were still started slow, but they had some good bones to make a marriage work. I don't know what happened outside, and at least I they really stayed together. They I love them so much. I love them too. I love them too. So, you know, it's just, uh, listen, we're, all I'm saying is I'm excited. And no, and by the way, no, they're airing on Tuesday nights, which is so weird for me. Like I can't wrap my brain around the Tuesday night thing. But so many things happen on Wednesday that I'm happy because I used to have to switch between Marta First Sight and Housewives on a Wednesday. So now I have my Tuesday to just enjoy Marta First Sight. Tuesdays, I'm already switching between The Voice and Dancing with the Stars. So, oh. By the way, you've been watching Dancing with the Stars. Who do you want to? Is Jen sure. still? I know Phaedra is still on. Phaedra is doing excellent. I love her. I don't think she'll win. I think Joey might be a top contender, or Julian, or Julian Edelman maybe. Uh, I think I think a man's gonna win it. Yeah. Oh well, Joe. No, Joey has been. Joey's been phenomenal. Fan. I am surprised with his moves. He's I so think good. everybody is, especially because he was like, I can't really dance. I mean, that he doesn't talk like that. I don't know why I'm putting on the actor, but I can't really dance. I'm just so shy. And then he's like, bam, bam, bam. like, sir, mm -hmm. what is, what? So what? Well, I mean, remember he was a tennis coach though. And so he's athletic and yes. the, the athleticism is like, just like with Julian, like mm -hmm. his athleticism gives him a leg up on a lot of other people. Yeah. And also, I also think starting next week, the competition is going to heat up a lot. They got rid of Reginald and they got rid of Eric Roberts last yeah, night I saw Eric Roberts. or the night before last. So like all of the people that are on there because they're legends and icons and whatnot, they're, but gone. they're, they're gone. Like they're known to the serious dancers. Now, right. Now we're dancing. Now we're dancing. we can dance. <laughs> yeah. And I'm ready for it. And I really, I really think one of the men is going to take it. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, even though it's really awkward to watch, I'm really enjoying Dwight Howard. You know, oh, he's, you almost, are? he's almost seven feet tall. Yeah, he's so tall. And, and she's watching so him dance alongside his teeny tiny partner. Yeah. It's just like the fact that they're still there and doing it is amazing. I'm surprised to me. he's still there, actually. I mean, he's doing a great job. It's just when you're well, too tall, for your partner, him? how are you going to hold the lines and do all the stuff? And With Shawnee. Oh, Who's voting for Dwayne Howard is my question. Basketball fans. Our basketball fans are not really? dancing Basket with us. Stop you it. You think football fans aren't either, but when their man is on there, they absolutely are. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing that they're not, they'll still vote. Oh, okay, yeah. Like once he posts no. and says, text this number. They're doing it. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah. I think that's why. 